Away goes Thelby then. First delivery of this championship final and opens up on the right lane with a strike. Very nice bowling from him. It's interesting, actually, it's only his third event on the European Tour, but when you look back at the previous two performances for Thelby, he's clearly at home in illustrious company because he was fourth at the Vienna Open and third at the English Open last season. So for a man that doesn't really like bowling singles, Cass, he's given a good account of himself. And a man that doesn't travel that much as well. But um, he's made it here this week, and I'm sure he'll uh, be playing other events on the European uh, Federation Tour. There goes the right-hander from Malaysia, and that was a bit of a shaky opener. Very light hit. Yeah, didn't seem to get much rotation on the ball there. Didn't get off his hand very well. Was almost gifted uh, this slot into to take uh, advantage of it. Needs to spare a sleeper, and does. Two and the eight pin together there. Does have a goal of playing on the PBA, Adrian Ang. And based on his performances at this particular tournament, he should cope with that pretty well. Well, it's early days. I mean, he's only 21. Still quite a young player. Long way to go in his career, I'm sure. He's been a winner on the Asian Tour. He's, his favourite city is London. I can't think why, but he likes to visit London and uh, play some uh, events that we get down there. His favourite player is Norm Duke, who unfortunately went out uh, in the last eight. There we go. There's the first strike on the board for Adrian Ang. And he has won on the European bowling tour before, the Ankara Open winner last season. Philby trying to double it up. Stays fairly central with his feet, and that's worked. That's that tight line that he found on quite a few occasions during the last match. Yeah, he got there straight away, and uh, it's worked for him, so why change? Straight down second arrow with a little bit of turn. And there you go. It's making it look quite easy, really. It looks so relaxed, and the uh, yeah, the crowd at the back are going a bit silly, I'm afraid. <laughs> but it's good to see. Yeah, it's a nice atmosphere. It's all in the best of spirits. These bowlers off the lane, good friends. Step out of the game and take the title. Well, he'll be... Uh, He'll be picking up the drinks bill, that's for certain, with that winner's check, and it's looking very good indeed. It's turkey for Rob Thurby to get things underway. And uh, if his wife, Emma, is watching back in the UK, he said if he wins it, he wants to dedicate this one to her, and he's started magnificently. I think he also said, also said something about not giving his coach, Alex Hamilton, any of the prize-winning money. <laughs> whether that was tongue-in-cheek, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm sure they'll sort that out later. I think you're just staring at Mr Edwards. Now then, can Adrian Ang double up? An important delivery already for the young Malaysian. He's kicked away off that one, but he liked it. Just wanted to see the entry into the pocket, I think. Got really wide right after delivering it, but was happy with that one. And he's, he can certainly take the pressure, can Adrian? Very tight, this one. Yes, Ang would dearly like to uh, slide another strike in there. Make it three in a row. Turkey it is for Ang. And that looked very ominous, that last delivery. It looks as though he's maybe changed his line slightly from when he was pl practicing just before the match started. He was sort of trying to swing it outside... Uh, to the outer boards and bring it back, but he's watched um, Rob Thelby play straight down second arrow, and that shot there was uh, not that dissimilar. How can Thelby keep the strikes flowing? Just place that down on the lane there. Really is working hard to stick with his form and his line and his speed. Well, Thelby's pacing 300, Ang is pacing 290. And I, earlier on in the week, you may have laughed at that, but it almost came to fruition because I, the highlight of the week for me was sitting watching uh, online Norm Duke shoot a 300 game. And on the same lanes at the same time was an old friend of uh, Eurosports, Jens Nickel from Germany, shot 299. And it was just spectacular feast of bowling. Both in real... What a start that would be. No, he shook his head almost as soon as that left his hand and it cut up through the head pin. 
And Adrian Ang is very much back in this final. Yeah, it's only six pins on that shot. As you say, Simon, it was high through the head pin. It was wrong or off of his hand. Just didn't have a, the right speed. It was a 3, 6, 9, 10. Massaged the 10 pin <laughs> off of the lane. Just unreal, wasn't it? Look, no expression changed on his face. Cool as you like. Ang, though, looked very, very good on his last two strikes. Certainly looks like championship material. Well, this is a big ball because this will draw him level. Give him four strikes in a row. Again, dances away to the right because he likes it. Yeah, kind of sort of fell off. We call that falling off the shot, taking a step to the right once the ball's gone. Almost getting up, be trying to track the ball up into the pocket. Here we go, just falls across to the right there and sees it hit nicely right in the line. Every shot becomes important now, Simon. When you're stringing strikes together, you've just got to keep the run going. Beautiful. That is really good bowling from Adrian Ang, and that's why he came through to this championship game as the number one seed, because he's produced that sort of scoring on a regular basis. He looks happy now. Well, he should be happy, yeah. It wasn't a bad shot. Not the greatest strike in the world. There's a lot of width there, and it's light in the pocket. Scoring conditions he's hit in one minutes. frame. Not perfect can make the difference. And well, that's a bonus, isn't it? Because that's, that's high through the head pin, and he's carried all ten. So, Rob, double up on that. Make it to uh, make it pay. Well, I feel like he's a lucky boy on this one, but uh, he's demolished all ten. Well, that's two two shots in a row, one on each lane, where the ball has ridden up a little bit high, uh, just in the last couple of feet. So maybe the lane condition is changing for Rob, and he might just have to uh, make a slight adjustment. This is a very important ball. This just has to be a strike. Absolutely. And the support for Rob Thirlby roaring that one on. I don't think it was 100% right, but it looks good on the score sheet. Double time Rob Thirlby after a four bagger and a uh, spare that he didn't really want. <laughs> this is good. Event is indeed. Adrian Ang looking for one more strike. Oh, danced away from that one, but yeah. it never made it. A fraction high. Could have left a four pin with that. that could have, uh, sorry, could have left a nine pin with that. Where that ball was going in, but he's fortunate just to leave the four pin standing. Thelby's back in the hunt. Absolutely, yes. Single digits between these two now. Not about to see that uh, nine pin was the last one to go. Must make the spare, and Rob really must come back at him. Enjoyable stuff, this one, watching two bowlers absolutely at the top of their form here. Well, everyone in the the audience is on the edge of their seat, um, especially the English supporters. Pressure time on both players now. Made it back. Absolutely, yeah. Great looking shot, nice swing area. Getting the ball right up into the 1-3 pocket and carrying the lot. Problems become greater. Rob will be looking to strike off the sheet here with five strikes from right now to guarantee the win. Lovely. And there's the first one. That makes three in a row. We're up in the ninth frame now. <clears throat> and a bit of smile has come over his face. He's obviously enjoying himself, and this really is a big ball now. That's the way to do it. When you've got yourself into a game of this magnitude, you've got to come away with good memories and do such differing styles for these men. Thirlby really trundling that one right down the centre. Thirlby for a four-bagger. And he's got Ooh, it. Oh, absolutely fantastic looking shot. That is so important. That is the foundation frame. He's struck, made four strikes in a row. Huge pressure now on Adrian Ang, but as we've seen in previous rounds, he can cope with it. We'll set the target. Really has to be a strike. How high will the bar go? Ooh. Down it goes, he's made it. Dear, oh dear. 
that forfeit was standing for a minute and I thought that's it, the game's all over. He's managed to trip it out for the double. 269 off the sheet if he can go that way. Good enough. Just trips the four pin out. He knows how important that is. And how fortunate, shall we say. So after these next few deliveries, we'll know exactly what Thurlby has to do on his last visit. Just a little shake of the hand there as that the fingers were pressed into the ball. Away it goes, Frank. And he leaves a ringing ten, and that's reduced his score quite dramatically. 248 maximum now. <clears throat> Wasn't a bad looking shot, and unfortunately, those corner pins do stand up at times. And then it got to be a fraction off, and you don't get the uh, pocket chain reaction effect. And takes a spare. 228 in the ninth, working on a spare. So he has the bonus ball, but got to make it count. all 10 here and then we'll know exactly what Thurlby has to do well played Adrian Ang but is it good enough for the number one seed in this step ladder final 248 anywhere else that would be a winner unfortunately this week in uh St. Maximin, just north of Paris. It hasn't been a winner. Rob Thurber needs a nine spare and a strike to take this match. Or a strike to start with will do very nicely. That'll send him on his way. Got to win it though, hasn't he, Cass? He can't just roll this one down there. He's got to make the shot. Yeah, he has to. He'll have to. He can settle for nine, as long as he can make the spare, but uh, let's get a strike out of the way and uh, win the game. Oh, it is the nine. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> me. Yes, he wasn't supposed to do it exactly to script. But he's going to have to now. He's going to have to make the spare for the bonus ball and... Well, I don't want to put the curse on it, Cass, but yes, we have seen these missed. And uh, you can see there from the close-up camera, there's a shake in the hand of Thurlby, but he's getting straight on with it. Yeah. Down it goes. Well, now the situation is he needs three pins <laughs> with his last shot to win this tournament. Well, he knows it's all over. Beautiful stuff from Thurlby, and that is a very special moment for the Englishman. It's a special moment for the English crowd as well. They absolutely love this. Great support from them. Well played to Adrian Ang, and he really was good. He nearly, nearly did it. But uh, a big, big nine spare for him in frame seven. And then that nine spare as well at the start of frame ten did for his chances. Oh, and zone. down they go. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Thurlby flies the European and English flag very high on the European bowling tour and picks up his first ever European bowling tour title in only his third attempt. The head shaking from him is just an acknowledgement of the fact that he cannot believe this has happened in the company that he's been bowling in this week. I mean, serious, serious legends within the sport, including some very good young talent getting through to the step ladder final. And he has beaten them all. Rob Thurlby is 13,000 euros richer and he's got a European bowling tour title under his belt. And Cass, that will feel very, very good indeed. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Took Norm Duke to the cleaners in the semi-final. The fifth greatest player in the world ever, Norm Duke. And Rob Thurlby beat him. And now he's won the whole event. Absolutely fantastic. So, 253 plays 248. Rob Thurlby of England beats Adrian Ang of Malaysia to win the Brunswick Euro Challenge 2010.